Hello there, my name is Ben Worthington. You might recognize my voice from a few English websites. And today we're going to look at a very new essay, one that was written yesterday, in fact. And this essay is related to the Sochi Games, the Olympic Games. So let's have a look at the question and then I'll go through my answer. Some people believe that international sporting events are the ideal opportunity to show the world the qualities of the hosting nation. Others believe that these events are mainly a large unjustifiable expense. To what extent do you agree and that should be or disagree? Now, let's have a look at the essay I wrote for this. So let's just go through this. Um, paragraph by paragraph and I'll show you what I was thinking while I was writing this. First of all I made a very clear essay plan following the sentence guide instructions eating my own words so to speak and from that plan it made it a lot easier and it practically guaranteed that the essay was coherent. So let's have a look. First of all I used different vocabulary. Yeah, I used global athletic events such as the Olympics, a nice example to start off with. And I also made a list here just to show the examiner some vocabulary such as the Olympics, the World Cup, the Extreme Games, and even the American Super Bowl. And as you can see, all of these have got uh, capital letters. One thing to be aware of, yeah, even though I did make a tiny little mistake here, which I corrected later. And so I, I basically introduced the topic. Then I talk about um, just a brief overview again. These iconic spectacles, yeah, these iconic spectacles can provide a country with an economic downpour of benefits or expose it to a public relations disaster. This essay will look at both points using Russia and the United Kingdom as examples. Now, I used the United Kingdom. Why did I use the United Kingdom? Because later I've got more flexibility. I can say Britain, I can say England, and I avoid repeating myself. With Russia, there's less opportunities but I could use, say, the Russian Federation or something else. So, I, uh, yeah, the vocabulary there, an economic downpour of benefits. Now, let's go straight to the first paragraph, or the second paragraph, as it is, actually. First body paragraph. Let's go. Firstly, it is important to bear in mind... What's that? That is a idiomatic expression, well not idiomatic expression, it's a nice collocation though, bear in mind that simply hosting the event and having the world's media attention cannot guarantee a positive promotion, okay, or positive promotion. This is because although the country is receiving enormous amounts of publicity, the media will often report controversial news as well as or instead of. Take the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. The media spotlight is shining bright on the athletes but also highlighting the polemic legislation. That's a nice little collocation there, polemic legislation regarding homosexuality. Therefore, despite the international recognition to be gained, the country or government can also face a possible backlash. That's just referring to how the media is reporting the event. Not only is it reporting the sporting events, it's also reporting the legislation by the Russian Federation. Okay, so it's a modern recent example. Um, it's relevant because it's related to the topic, related to the question, which is talking about international sporting events, the ideal opportunity to show the world the qualities of the host, nations it's asking me if I agree or disagree with this I do agree but I'm saying that it can also give a the media can also report a negative side 
Okay, so that's the first paragraph dealing with the first sentence. Now, the second sentence, the second paragraph, the second sentence in the question talks about the expense. So here I'm going to talk about a recent example again with related to Manchester and it's important to show that here I'm not so sure if this is the real date maybe it was 2000 or maybe it was 2004 I cannot remember but I don't think the examiner is going to jump on Google and deduct me points for that the point is that I've used a believable credible example and it proves the point okay now Secondly, the expense of building large infrastructures necessary to hold these events can dwarf the benefits unless they are fully amortized afterwards. So nice topic specific vocabulary there. OK, especially infrastructures amortized. This is largely due to the fact here I did want to write this is because but because I'd already used it earlier, I decided to use a different construction and I used this is largely due to the fact that stadiums, Olympic parks, ski runs, etc. Another list there, the opportunity to show the examiner the vocabulary, all relevant, um, are not inexpensive to construct and undertake large capital expenditure, often by the public sector. Okay. In the Commonwealth Games in Manchester in 2002, Council commissioned a stadium, more topic specific vocabulary there, or specific vocabulary, for athletic events. This was later adapted and sold to the local preeminent football club, Manchester City. This is, uh, you don't have to write <laughs> things like that. You could have just said the local football club, Manchester City. That was just my little <laughs> tweak there to show my, uh, my uh, inclination. Anyway. Therefore, so the stadium was sold to Manchester City, therefore with proper fair economic management of such buildings and facilities, the cost can be recuperated. So the whole paragraph is related to the large unjustifiable expense. And I was basically saying that if it's managed correctly, then it doesn't have to be unjustifiable. It can be recuperated. Then we finish with the conclusion, of course, the final paragraph. To conclude, a host city or nation has a lot to gain from these events, but only if they are economically administered correctly. Maybe that would have been better written, only if they are correctly economically admi administered. And the country has no controversial issues for the media to pull out of the closet. <laughs> I hate... Um, this is the little joke here. I wouldn't. I don't recommend putting the jokes in that um, I was writing this and I th couldn't resist. I would have said, uh, if this was the official exam, of course, I'd have said, has no controversial issues for the media to discover. Okay? There was um, no need to put jokes in like that. I was just me in the library trying to amuse myself. So, <laughs> as we see... Here we've got four paragraphs, lots of good vocabulary, all coherent, all relating back to the question. And it didn't take me long to write this at all, maybe about 20 minutes or so. And just following the plan, correctly, uh, not correctly, fully prepared for this beforehand, before actually writing it down, made a plan, got my ideas, got my examples. And then it was just a simple job of transferring all of this into the essay. The sentence guide, it, it's really easy. So have a look at that on uh, at my site, ielspodcast.com. All right, thanks for watching.